It's a haul from Dollar Tree from my first time at Dollar Tree since 4th of July. I went for junk journal supplies and other essentials. <laughs> Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie and I have a haul video from Dollar Tree and it is supplies for journals and junk journals. So, um, but first I went to Dollar General. Um, I needed milk, so, you know, need milk, get crafty stuff. So, um, they have these icon, these stickers to go with the rose things that I've been collecting. So I picked that up, they only had one. I was at a different Dollar General and I went there on purpose because I was looking for these instant threading hand needles for knits, lingerie, and elastic. So um, they have a new packaging, but there they are. Those are the magic needles that I love to use. Oh, I'm so glad to have found them. Um, I picked up these adorable stickers with the kitties and the puppies. And I don't know how much they were, but there's three sheets in there. And then I also picked up the Minion stickers. So then I picked up these doubled ended brush tip markers and I think I'm going to play with these this week and see what I can do with those. I have a couple of calligraphy and other uh, brush marker books that I have so um, it's something that I've been wanting to learn. They had some wood tags so there's eight of them in there. They were $1.50 for eight wooden tags. And then they had 20 piece craft tags for $1.50. Uh, you guys, <laughs> that is worth $1.50 not having to um, weed them off of my Cricut. Okay, there you go. One, two, three, four, five of them. $7.50. <laughs> Those were worth my time to buy those. I did pick up the um, Yoda plate and another package of the napkins so that I can put those into the shop. And let me go ahead and turn that down. Okay, so next we are Dollar Tree. And at Dollar Tree, I picked up some ribbon. So I got this sunflower ribbon and I'm gonna put those in the little sunflower kits I have coming out. Um, I'll put some of that in there. I always pick up the lace when I can find them. If they have five of them, I will pick up five. Um, if I'm not picking up anything else, I'll pick up like 10. But I picked up the lace, It's you get three yards for a dollar, that's really good price for lace. And then this is a really good price for lace. You get the burlap with the lace on top. And you've seen me work with this. I love this. So you get three yards of lace and three yards of burlap with that one. So then I did pick up some books. I got Georgia, look at that. Isn't that color beautiful? Okay, so Georgia. Now these are a little bit bigger than what I like to use, but I am I am coming up with a way to be able to use them. So this one's called The Lost Family. Okay. I think they're like nine and a quarter by six. Let's check. Here we go. Oh, so a little over nine and a half by six and a half on that one. Nine and a quarter by six and a quarter. Nine and a quarter by six and a quarter. So this one is the Expatriates and it's blue or it's actually purple. Very cool, I have purple stuff. Oh my gosh, you guys. This, look at this. 
it has this map on the inside. I love this. Okay, so this one's called The Map That Leads to You. And I got two of those, and they are eight and a half by five and three quarters. So this one is close to the work, the book, the work that I like, and I have a couple of travel journals coming, so um, I will be able to use those for the travel journals. I think that's pretty exciting. So next, I was able to pick up some mermaid stick wall stickers. And you remember we did these um, last year, I put together some mermaid kits. They were similar to this. Um, what do you think? Do you think we should do a mermaid kit? This one here, she is just about nine inches. She's gonna be a little over six by seven, but if you, I mean, you can cut some of her hair off, so she could fit on the cover or on a page, and you get two sides, okay? So I picked up some of those. I figure I'll do uh, another journal for my niece that loved it so much. I got some baby wrapping paper. I love this. I have a baby book to do. Then this one has the animals and look, it's got a llama, monkey, and lion. Very cute. Then I got some stuff for wedding. So this is Happily Ever After. And this works with the wedding stuff that I got. And this works with the wedding stuff that I got. So those are the new wrapping papers. And I, I like to get wrapping paper. Let's see what the size on these are. 17 and a half square feet. They're two and a half feet by two and two and a third yard. So, um, you know, that's better than the price of scrapbook paper usually. Okay, so next I picked up, um, oh, I thought these were really cute. God bless this farm and they are paintings. Look at, look at the horse. This looks like Chip. Except he's got a tail. Chip doesn't have a tail. Look at this. Isn't he cute in the daffodils? And there's a bunny, a donkey. So um, you get the little ones, you get that one, and then all the rest of them are, are big, okay? So this time they did their calendar like that, their extra calendar, so. And then they have um, Bible verses in them. So I just thought these were adorable. And so I picked up a few of them. Then I also got the kittens and cats. I got a couple of those. So you get the little cat calendar and you get the big cat calendar. You see a, a theme happening there with the kitties? You got a kitty thing. Hopefully, happening soon. I got some pearls. I'm pretty excited about these. I got these to hold some stuff up on my desk. Things that I'm working with. Anyway, they're, they're big envelopes and I thought that they would be fun little packets to have on my desk. Then I picked up several of the copy papers. We have the green, we have the pink with the baby carriage. Oh my gosh, I love this. I think those are supposed to be lemons, but I love the colors on that one. And this with the roses or peonies or whatever they are. I think that they are just beautiful. So I got a couple of those. This cute one with the animals. This one. And then I got a couple of the file folders. Okay. These are all for upcoming kits. 
And then I picked up, they had, you know, they haven't been having these, but they had the sketch pad that is nine by 12. And so for these larger books, um, the larger one, not the, the small one, the larger one, I'm thinking that they will work. Okay, I'm thinking these will work for pages. Now they they won't be able to to go through my my printer. I don't think I'll have to check. I don't think they will. But there we go. Yeah. So um, coffee dyed in a variety of ways. I think um, that is going to be how I'm going to use up the large books that I've been picking up. And, that, and you saw I, I picked up a few more. Um, <laughs> I picked this up. I have several note papers that match this. And so I was like, okay, I can make traveler's notebook style. Or I can go the other way and make... Anyway, it is a binder. And I'm going to make covers out of these. Another thing that I always pick up are these stickers. They had their calendar notes. This time they had the black and white polka dot. They had some planner stickers. I thought these were really, really cute. Really cute. And they had some burlap um, leaves. And they, I believe they're wired. So, okay, very cool. Um, this little photo album with the succulents on it and then I picked these up for my daughters <laughs> for her uh, anyway I'm making her a journal and these will be really fun for her journal like totally and then look at this adorable puppy tissue adorable adorable puppy tissue Okay, we still have a few more things to get down in this bag. And I'll just stack them up over here. Okay, so for the wedding theme stuff, I picked up some of these bags. Okay, so the Mr. and Mrs. and the Stripe. I primarily wanted to miss our misses. To have and to hold from this day forward for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish from this day forward. So you get those. And they and they lived happily ever after. So and then this page, that one here. And that gives me two of each by using those bags. So Four images for a dollar. <laughs> um, thank you notes. Eight of them with the white roses. I just thought they were really pretty easy to just add some washi tape right here and be able to use that with the um, antique roses digital kit from Dear Julie Julie and just having something that's a different look and a different texture. There's some more of the white pearls. I found some more of those awesome treat bags so I picked up two of them because I think that they're gonna be great for fall so those I got some orange striped for Halloween and I love these with the butterflies I think that is gonna actually go in um, in the fall things too even with the blue I think they'll be really cool so um, then I went to the sticker area and I was able to find these with the dragonfly. They say fly and there's a butterfly and a bird and it says beauty and it's got the big frame. So I picked up I think three of those. Then I found these. I love those. And 
then I picked up three of these with the flamingo and the toucan and all of the tropical stuff. And then I got this for my granddaughter's journal that I'm making her. Because I think, you know, being able to use these stickers and just plop them in there sometimes is really, really fun. I also got this. I especially like the Hello Sunshine, but I got this for Shelly's and the pineapples. Um, she's got a thing right now for pineapples, so there's several, several sayings down here that have to do with pineapples and fruit. So those are all for her journal. And um, so, yes, I am thinking about Christmas now. And uh, so some of this stuff was for Christmas gifts. And um, a lot of it is for kids that will be coming out. And remember that you can purchase and use items from the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop, Kira Brandon, and Selena at Amore Fabrics. You can use things from all of those shops during the month of September in your challenge journal and count them as part of your stash. Yeah, because I decided to do that. So this is my crafty, fun haul from Dollar General and Dollar Tree. And oh my gosh, so what was your favorite? What had you not seen before? Is there anything that came out here that you hadn't seen before? And um, yeah, these would have been these would have been fun in the sassy. <laughs> They're pretty sassy. So maybe go and grab some of those sassy stickers from Dollar Tree and add them to your your sassy kit. So there we go. I'm gonna go put all this away. I want to thank you for hanging out and watching this video and I want you to find something to celebrate every day. Bye bye. Have an amazing day. Bye.